Hey yo, what's up? Welcome ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between. You know how we do. Grab your vices, chill out, and let's get straight to it with episode 15 of Straightforward with Miss B, along with my guest co-host AG. What's up, AG? What it do? How everybody doing out there today? Hey, yesterday was 420. Oh, shit, that was just another day. Oh, my God. We get high every day. We get high every day? Anyway. Anyway, so it don't even matter if it's a holiday. We <laughs> should have took off yesterday. You should have. They had some type of event here in Atlanta. I didn't go, but it looked like it was pretty fun. They had, you know, the Goody Mob performing. I believe Big Boy then was out there as well. Seems like the people had fun. Okay, they okay. smoking good weed out there. Ain't no, ain't the folk one bogged them, so it had to be fun. <laughs> right, yeah, it looked like, you know, it didn't look like any police and stuff was out there. It was like people, you know, vendors had their stuff out there selling it. Um, yeah, so everybody who celebrates um, 420, you know, who, who are... Um, connoisseurs of cannabis potheads pot <laughs> potheads pot we heads, heads. <laughs> really get high. right who really really and truly get high you know i hope all of you guys had a wonderful 420 on yesterday um outside of 420 um you know how was your week Oh no, shit! Everything been going smooth, you know. I can't complain. I really can't remember. Oh you my know, god! So <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm on the freshman. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, you know, wake up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Be, come to me before, I need before you to long. be loud, live, and direct on this podcast. So <laughs> do what you shake it off, drink a cup of water. Do what you got to do. Um, I didn't have much going on this weekend. Um, had some company over uh, for a minute and went to Target, spent too much money at Target. I don't know. I don't know. Those places get you, man. Target and Walmart, you walk in there. I swear to God, I was walking in there. I already had in my mind what I wanted to get. And I ended up buying new rugs and stuff from a bathroom, some pictures, just all kind of stuff, man. I spent at least about $400. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus. How long did that trip last? <laughs> I was in there for probably a good hour. I was kind of indecisive on, you know, like color schemes and stuff like that because I want to, you know, redo my bathroom. So I need to go buy some that paint. You. That wasn't on the list of nothing. Was. It was not on the list at all. I was just going in there for some little, you know, plastic container, um, like storage boxes. And, yeah, ended up getting everything else that I need. So it'll be a minute before I go back and target. That's for sure. Um, did you hear about the new the, the, the breaking news, man? The world champion. Former. Former world champion. He's an ex world champion boxer. Mm-hmm. That dang on Mike Tyson. Uh for anybody Mike who nobody. Right, who for anybody who may be at work, um, uh, didn't catch up on the news, Mike Tyson. He happened to get captured on video um, attacking a passenger uh, today. TMZ, I believe, may have broke the story. Uh, Mike Tyson was seen on a flight. um, I was reading up on it. It might have been a JetBlue flight. I believe it was coming out of California. And so they say that the, the man that was sitting behind him um, it was a Caucasian male, looked like he might be maybe either maybe late 20s, probably early 30s. But he kept kind of heckling, heckling and, you know, 
they say the man was intoxicated and he, with Mike. he kept on messing with Mike and it got to the point where it just, it triggered Mike. And next thing you know, Mike then stepped up off his seat and he reached to the back and he started <laughs> punching that man. Yeah, that nigga some one, two, three, four, five, six, Matt, <laughs> I was watching that video. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> you feel sorry for that dude? Oh my god! I'm like, my I got a new name for Mike Tyson. So I'm gonna call him Mile, Mile High Mike. Mile High Mike. <laughs> you didn't have to beat on that man like that on the flight, man. <laughs> man, you crazy? That man asked for every lick he got. That man just kept on messing with Mike. Damn, no made him do it. <laughs> Just imagine, man. <laughs> you might the hell on this one. And this one is fault. It was. I don't, it, I don't think it was his fault. It because it looks like some, like you know, several people at this point was on their phones recording the video. So I saw a different angle of the fight, um, and it looks like it was an angle from somebody who was sitting like directly across, like the road next to them. Um, in the seats, <clears throat> and you can you can see on that particular um, video where the guy, like you said, kept on just provoking him, provoking him, talking to him, you know, hitting the back of the seat. Which I oh, I absolutely hate that when when kids or somebody sitting behind me on a plane, and they get to the kicking their feet. Oh my god, it is so fucking annoying. I swear to God. <clears throat> he stood up over him in the back of him, man. That dude, yeah, they yeah. Should take him to jail. Yeah, he was he was doing too much. So I was like, see, this is how people just, you know. And then next thing you know, you know, I wouldn't be surprised the man have a lawsuit against Mike, man, trying to get some money out the deal. But I'm gonna get a nigga dying. He yeah, already gonna go to jail for him. Right. He ain't get nothing. I promise. Another thing that I thought of looking at the video, because, you know, Mike Tyson has had a spiritual awakening, you know, for the past few years. He's been in a very zenful, you know, peaceful place in his life. He's a cannabis smoker as well. He would talk about it and smoke on his podcast. I don't know if anybody has checked that out, but it's a pretty cool podcast. I don't know if he had recent episodes of it, but... Um, you know, he would just talk about how over the years he've learned to kind of calm down that negative energy that he have. And, you know, he he used to be back in the day, he would just pop off, you know, pop off and fight anybody for anything. Um, so it, it was kind of unsettling to see him, you know, get to that point again, present day to where, you know, he was he was he was triggered. You know, he was he, provoked. He was provoked. he was provoked, but yet internally he was triggered. Anybody could be provoked, but the way you react, that's part of your internal being of how you react. You choose how you react. You know what I'm saying? So it seems as though maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe Mike Tyson may use this experience to maybe go back to seek, you know, seek more therapy because he can't. Uh, you're going to have fans, you know what I'm saying? He got fans around the world, and you're going to have fans that probably are going to annoy you, you know, in public. There wasn't no fan. <clears throat> you don't know what that man probably was a fan. He probably kept there asking him for no pictures and all that type of stuff. You don't yeah, know. Was <laughs> okay, you wasn't on the plane. You didn't hear no audio. You don't know what that man was saying. I saw it. What the man said. It look like he's saying damn near fucking with Mike. Oh God. See <laughs> fucking with Mike, man. We don't know what that man said, but what I'm you saying know, he is was fucking with Mike because the other dude like, damn man, you gonna make because the other dude said something damn like man, you gonna make knock knock Mike knock your ass. <laughs> I mean that's what he did. And that's what he did. And that's what he did. Yes. But you know. I feel as though I feel as though that Mike still he may have some you know things that he may need to to work through you know with Mike, the therapist. Mike say, I'm okay. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. <clears throat> don't push me. Look, 
In the eyes of the law, it don't matter. <laughs> the, the law would the law would tell you the law would tell you no matter how no no matter how much somebody tried to provoke you, you still have the ability to stop yourself from reacting in a certain way. You don't have to you don't have to cause no bodily harm on anybody. You could he could have just cussed them out or something, or maybe just mushed them in the face, but he didn't have to just straight up throw punches on the guy. You don't even know how many of them punches actually landed. Man, it's Mike Tyson. You know all the punches landed. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Who you fooling? I'm just saying, you don't know. Now you really yeah, talk. You, you really talking head. crazy now. <laughs> you know all those punches <laughs> landed. Tell me about Ciao. Man, y'all see what I got to deal with on this podcast. Y'all listen to this fool. <laughs> he just coming up with shit now. It's the cannabis. <laughs> He's still high. Ciao. That's why really it took so long to beat. But Mike the Hood, because he was high. He was like, man, if I let this guy keep doing this, he's going to blow my eye. <laughs> I got to stop him. <laughs> hey. They, they didn't save him in time, but... The blade, did <laughs> <laughs> they did not save that man in time. <laughs> did anybody get put out the plane? Uh, we, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, TM, TMZ, yeah, TMZ didn't post that footage. Maybe they don't have footage of that. Of the Ain't aftermath. Ain't nothing happened. That shit just shook off. But it was like, okay, I'm not going to bother Mike because I knew I, I shouldn't have done it. Right. He was in the fall for real. So I'm sure if he does try to sue Mike, it won't it won't go nowhere. They're going to toss that out because he was clearly at fault. He he, he kept enti- – you can't, enti- te- like you said, antagonize and provoke, a ch- like you said, a world champion – boxer <laughs> of all people you know they get a history <laughs> right you already know i got lethal hands my hands are insured you know i'm crazy and you know you i'm crazy to see what I'm gonna do. right you trying to make me do it i done bit off vander holyfield <laughs> ear before you know i'm crazy ciao but anyway so <clears throat> in more crazy news off the wall news so This week, um, there was an interview um, that came out, and it had the Breakfast Club's DJ Envy and his wife, um, Gia Casey. They were discussing their marriage, um, discussing their marriage. They have a pot. I don't know if they... They had like an online YouTube show, but I guess you can consider it as being a podcast where they just talk about the marriage life, things they go through, you know, things of that nature. But anyway, so they was recently discussing, um, you know, their life together, um, the kids and family. And um, Gia basically, you know, brought up the fact that, you know, in the bedroom, she said for years, for about 10 years or so, she used to fake orgasms. While they were love making, which I've thought that's I mean that's that's not it's not a new thing. I've heard of people you know faking it in the bedroom before, but I guess f- for her to do it for so many years, I guess that what that's what caught it all you know caught me off guard with that conversation. Um, but I was just wondering and wanted to bring up the topic. You know, for people out there that's listening, what would you do if you found out your lover was was faking it in the bedroom? I'm talking about not maybe like your boyfriend, girlfriend type of situation. But I think you can consider it to be a little bit more serious type of thing when you're talking about a marriage. You know, in love making, you would you would hope that both of you you know, have chemistry when it comes to the bedroom. You both vibing. You both know your hot spots, you know, know where to touch, what makes you feel good, makes you feel sensual. Um, but if you just kind of found out one day that, hey, all these years, you really wasn't making me feel good, <laughs> and I was just faking it. I'd be crushed. <laughs> For a moment. <laughs> Why you say for a moment? I'm like, bitch, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be like, why you, why you ain't tell me? Yeah, why you ain't tell 
little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's. I think that for some people, like bedroom antics, just a whole sex experience as a whole can be um, a little stressful for some people. It may be a little anxiety field for some people um some people really just like i said gets like a certain level of nervousness around them when they when it comes to sex and because in your mind you're thinking i hope i'm doing enough i hope i'm you know i hope they like this i hope they like this i hope she feeling good i hope he, he listen did you hear what she said though on the interview go ahead she said he was putting he was putting the work and she she was like, well, he was doing the best he could. I just felt like he, he needed to be rewarded. And so she would just fake it. <laughs> oh, my God. It's I more can... embarrassing for you to tell, to say this shit now, how you saying it to everybody, than you just to tell me, oh, oh man, come on. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Somebody that shit unless she was trying to just embarrass that man, right? But they've been together you know forever, I mean? so they it's not like they're getting a divorce. Because at this point, hell, just keep faking it. I'm like, why are you telling her? you? You just got to keep doing it. <laughs> so a nigga ain't gonna never believe you now. You right, <laughs> like, right? It's for, you know. <laughs> but you know what, Gia can't see. If you ever have to t- happen to tune into this podcast, look, I would think that as a woman, and that's something that we need to learn. And I remember um, Nick Minaj actually tweeted about this. Um, <clears throat> tweeted about something similar to this recently about women taking, taking, taking their power, understanding what their power is, you know, especially when it comes to like bedroom stuff, because we're always in a position to where we are the ones that somewhat is responsible for the pleasure, right? The men look at us and, and say, Hey, we got to do this. No, but let me finish my thought. Okay. <laughs> okay. You be but then, man. I mean, me thought. But yeah, they, but they was saying, you ain't listen to me all the way out. Women need to start speaking up when it comes to things that make us happy. We're always the ones that's supposed to be the pleaser to make sure the man feels good during this whole sexual process. But women need to get to the point and start, you know, just having that courage to speak up and say, hey, you know, if they if they get in a if they get in the coochie eight out, all men don't know how to do that. Men may think they do, but they don't. Why you not tell you know, why not out. tell them? Express to him, hey, can you, you know, lick your tongue a little faster? Here. Eat it, do this eat it over there. Oh, eat it over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might need to move it back a little. Move your tongue back a little further to my butthole. You know, Ooh, it's it's. That, you might need to suck on my toes. That Ooh. you know, that get me hot and wet. You Ooh. know, it's so many it's, other it's, things. <laughs> yeah, if he can't find it, you might well go and tell it. Right, <laughs> right. This should just be something that should be said. It should. It really should be said from the jump. But I'll let somebody in a relationship slide at least one or two times. Say y'all have sex once or twice. Yeah, but, try, try to find it. But by the third time, oh, something got to give. My the way yeah. my mouth set up, I would <laughs> tell know, you. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you if I don't like that. I like this. But that's just me. I'm kind of aggressive when it comes to bedroom stuff. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> that's just me. Look, if it ain't right, I'm going to let you know it is not right, bro. This ain't doing nothing for me. And it need to be it need to be a 50-50 thing. As much pleasure as you getting and you want to get your rocks off and you want to bust your couple of nuts, I need to do the same. So you need to be putting it as much effort into me as I am into you. But y'all got it easy, though. 
How do we? How do we have it easy? Y'all ain't got <laughs> nothing they gotta get right. <laughs> yes, we do. What our vaginas? Our vaginas got to get right. Our vaginas have to be have to start getting moist. You know, at the beginning of the session, we got to get right too. Yeah, but it ain't like a man though. A man got it's, it's all on him though. You know. See. Mm-mm. You up to how long it lasts and all that? Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the man, y'all got to make it last now. Y'all better pop some Viagra. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The, Some ginseng after pills. y'all get y'all juices flourish, y'all in the game, man. I mean. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we in the game. We in the yeah. game. <laughs> Look, we in the game. Right. But, yeah. but, but, no but there is, you still have to make sure the juices continue to flow. You know what I'm saying? Just like how if a guy, you know, you might have a guy that nut quick you know and we need to go a second round or a third round you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so it's kind of like that same process and then you know you may have um you may have a woman that like i said that need to c- have the juices continue to flow continue to flow but they want to take that even a woman want to take it to the next level you may have the ones that squirt and want to squirt so that's like a next level of you know, the orgasm experience also. So it's like both parties in my eyes have to put in the same amount of effort. I don't think it's like more than, you know, one or the other. As you trying to say. If we ain't working, it ain't no sex. And you damn right about that. <laughs> you damn okay, right man. about that. Your coochie, baby. We go get some grease or something like that. <laughs> it, it, that it, you are right about. It. If it ain't working out in the sex department, we just say. Now that that brought me to another question. I just thought of another question. How important is a healthy sex life or a good sex sex life is for a marriage or a relationship? For me, you I, ain't married, so you can't say. You I, I've had long term. I have long term relationships. I've had long term relationships. So I do got to say, I know what my say is. My say is, I'm not going to be in a long-term relationship with somebody that I'm not, I'm not equally yoked in the sex area with. It's just not happening for me. I can't fake it for 10 years like Gia Casey. <clears throat> Stop smoking. I know you smoking. That's why you getting quiet. <laughs> Man, you told me you do what I do. That was, you me from the but you can hold off to the podcast over. Okay. I'm listening at you. This is live raw and cut, you guys. This just this just how it is on this show. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, for me it won't work out. I don't see myself being with somebody for a long term if if the sex life ain't good. If we're not explore, and if 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 the sex life isn't good, say I'm say I'm married hypothetically, and if the sex life get to a point where it's just kind of like, uh, it's dull now, it ain't giving what it's supposed to be giving. Then, at that time, we need to be exploring other things. You know, we need to be trying to play dress up in the bedroom, cops and robbers, or. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We we need to be doing something. Right. We got to keep it spicy now. We got to do something <laughs> so it won't be dull anymore. Uh, you know, I just hate it for the people. That, and then you hear about, like, <clears throat> you know, you might hear about, like, your grandparents or when you people who've been together for, like, 50 years. It's a lot of them people that be married. They just, it don't be nothing no more. After a while, yeah. once you get old, <laughs> they like six. We had that in the last twenty years. I don't know what that is. Oh, <laughs> we just forgot about it. Well, we just ain't gonna do that no more. Right. We come up to the agreement. 
<laughs> they be having separate bedrooms, sleeping in different rooms and everything. Mm-hmm. It just be ca- crazy. I don't want my sex life to be like that. Mm-mm. Well, we hope it don't come to that. Mm, yeah. We hope it wouldn't come to nothing like that. Right. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> our next topic um on our random, 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 extra random topics list. Um Netflix. You heard about Netflix. Their stocks dropped significantly. Um, after losing about 200,000 subscribers, Netflix says that they may stop allowing multiple people um, share passwords in, like, one household. However, you know, people um, on the Internet um, basically say it's not a, it's not about the share passwords that's the issue. It's the fact that Netflix, it seems like every three to six months, they increase the monthly um, subscription fee. Oh yeah, mine up to seventeen dollars. It went from twelve ninety nine to seventeen dollars to seventeen nine. Oh wow! Oh wow! And that's within a year, probably like a year. So by the year, I just said, yeah. You know. Mhm. Well, I, I know. Want to stop something and keep going up? Right. They need to do a lot. And then you know, people was complaining about um Netflix. You know, it'd be a lot of stuff because you know. Netflix is one of those apps or, you know, sites or whatever that you binge watch a lot of stuff, right? So it's like once you get through to your move your favorite movies and your favorite shows, it's like they don't update it enough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They need to come up with some new shit. Yeah, they need to continue to put out new stuff uh for people to watch um before they decide to do that. You know, I've been sharing like I've never paid yeah, for I've never like paid for now, Netflix. Uh, hmm? They gonna be like um MySpace, keep it up. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be like MySpace. They, they gonna lose all their members, goddamn. They trying to get it all while they got some members. <laughs> right. Have you do you use um I used to have shoot, I used to have somebody password for um Hulu. Hulu is good too. Do you have Hulu? No, nah, I ain't got Hulu. Now Hulu got some Netflix good shows on there. Netflix and HBO, Cinemax, and, and Stars, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, Hulu is another app they have. Like now, the difference between Netflix and Hulu, Hulu have like, like all the shows that come on like c- cable TV. Like from all the seasons, like Real Housewives, everything you can see pretty much on cable TV is on Hulu, and it's it's really good, but. I don't know what happened. I think the person who password I was using, they end up changing it and I can no longer <laughs> I can no longer access Hulu. So I have to think about if I'm gonna end up buying a subscription um to Hulu. Um about that. So a lot of new music is coming out. Kendrick Lamar, everybody has been anticipating. It's been about three or four years since he dropped his last project. Um, So he's coming out with a new project soon. It's going to be dropping in May. Um, These are for all my hip-hop heads like I am. Um, Pusha T, he's dropping an album, I believe, on Friday. I'll be looking out for Pusha T. I've always been a big fan of his um future future as well is going to be um dropping an album soon um what you think you think they're gonna come out with some some good new music yeah they need to come out with some music you know i'm from the old school you know? mm-hmm. i'm still listening to my eight ball and jg and outcast and Okay. Yeah, so if they don't come up with that. Now, you don't give a damn. <laughs> well, all my hip hop heads, I am anticipating these projects. I will be listening, and I did think of because I do like from my magazine days and my background coming from you know being a musician and everything. I think I am going to, um maybe create like a music segment and I'm trying to decide whether or not I will like add it to the weekly podcast or maybe do it, you know, do just do a separate, separate thing, just dealing with music and talking about music and maybe have like artists and producers that I know come on 
um, to, you know, just talk about shit, talk about the music. Cause I don't really see one thing I noticed. I don't see a lot of females that talk about music related things in the industry. You got your Joe buttons, you got your, you know, academics, uh, people like that you have um, you know Ebro but those radio people Charlemagne radio people but I don't really see a lot of women except for maybe like Angie Martinez who's been around you know for ages she's always been like kind of like a hip-hop maven so you know I'm thinking that that I might want to kind of uh, you know get into that that area and share my opinions on music because I you know I, I I think that I I listen to music a different kind of way than a lot of people like I'm all about instrumentation I understand audio engineering I understand production I used to date a producer a, a platinum um, selling producer as well so um, I just have a different type of ear for music and I think that you know my opinions on it <clears throat> kind of shed some light and then we have a especially the females in hip hop. It's been a lot going on with the Nicki Minaj's, the Cardi B's. You got all the young girls coming up, Asian doll, Asian brats, you know, Amaretta from Atlanta, got gelato. So I'm glad to see that um, the females in the hip hop industry are really flooding the airways and the clubs um, these days. It, you know, it was it was about time that, you know, women got their shine again so yeah so I'm thinking about that you guys if you do think that I should do kind of like a music segment you know always leave that comment for us or you can hit us in the dms um as well and I will you appreciate know I that wanna, um, you know who I want to interview who salt and pepper who salt and pepper salt, salt and pepper. pepper push it real good Push it. Yeah, them girls. Oh my God. Salt pepper. Ooh, baby, baby. What you gonna ask them <laughs> old ho? <laughs> <laughs> no no disrespect. No disrespect to salt and pepper, but that you just came out of nowhere with salt and pepper, man. I'm like, what? Yeah, they, I watched them all. They got a Oh, they got their little movie. I watched it the other night. <laughs> oh my God. Of all people, you, you said salt people. and pepper? <laughs> what are we going to talk about this? <laughs> this fool crazy. I don't yeah. know. I don't know when when that interview going to come, bro. Because I don't know yeah. what I would want to talk about with them. I mean, so back I in the day. To be legends. You know, they legends in the game. <laughs> Are they trying to help these young people now? Or are they trying to mold any of you know, players to talk about? I guess. It'll come to you. I mean, yeah. You just said all this. You're, you're a journalist, right? No, I don't want to be considered a journalist, no. I'm just well, a person that likes shit and they like to talk about it. <laughs> and and they'll, and, and, they'll, they'll, and I'll talk. do some research if it's interesting enough. Maybe you talk, you'll find something to talk about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will. Sound like it's gonna be a damn problem. <laughs> yeah, right at all. No, it's not. Anyway, but anyway, so we had the tail end of the podcast, you guys. I know we try to keep it at thirty minutes. Sometimes we may go a little longer, depending on you know the topic. The topic. It depends on the topic. Also, um, coming up here, uh, hopefully soon. Um, we will begin to go live, um, kind of like a live stream on YouTube, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. That way you guys can be in a live chat, um, while we're live and yeah, so I'll keep, you know, we're going to keep you guys posted on that for sure. But anyway, let's wrap this thing on up as we do around this time. As you know, you guys, follow us on all streaming platforms at STR, the number 8 FWD with Miss B. That's Sp at Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts. We on faith the podcast is on Facebook as well. And don't forget to follow us um, you know, on social media platforms at straightforward MSB. 
Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of that, TikTok. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Peace. So.